Welcome to the Church Street Water and Sewer Improvement Project meeting. This is a Fort Worth Water Department project. If you could keep yourself muted until we finish the presentation, you can ask your questions then. If you have a question that comes up during the presentation, you can post it in the chat. That's the bubble in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. We'll field those chat questions first after the presentation, then we'll take any call-in questions. Uh, the link to the project page will be in this presentation. The easiest way to find it is to type 102785 in the search bar on the home page, which is www.fortworthtexas.gov. The project manager is Dina Johnson. Her contact information is in the chat as well as the PowerPoint. Your inspector is Roderick Wallace. His contact information is also there. And Woody Contractors is our contractor. Dina, I'm going to pass it over to you. Sally, um, you're up, Dina. Sally, I'm trying to move the page. Stand by, we're having some trouble with our laptop. Just a second. I'll help you. There we go. Sorry, guys. Good afternoon. Thank you for All right. Love you. Guys. All right. Love you. Bye. I know. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. Good, Dina. Go ahead. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for this construction community meeting. Uh, we're going to start with the agenda. We have introduction, uh, project overview, project area, frequently asked question timeline. Your construction project team include myself, Amina Johnson, project manager. My telephone number is 392 Email address dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. Inspector is Roderick Wallace, telephone number 817-350-3321. Email roderick.wallace at fortworthtexas.gov. Engineering design consultant is RLG. Brent Lewis is the project manager. Contractor is Woody Contractors Inc. And the contact person is Chase Woody. Project overview. This project is in Council District 5. Landmarks include Shannon Roseville Funeral Chapel and Cemetery to the east, East Lancaster Avenue to the south, and Rush Creek Church to the west. Construction will impact the Handy Neighborhood Association and the neighborhoods of East Fort Worth Neighborhood Association area. Project area existing water and sewer mains will be replaced on Church Street from Milam Street to the west to Rose Hill Drive to the east. Church Street is currently asphalt. Once the water and sewer mains are replaced, the contractor will pay up the street with asphalt. Questions asked, why are we doing this project? Fort Worth prioritize water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV closed circuit TV inspection. This is where we install a camera inside the pipe to tell us about the condition of the pipe, edge of the line, line material, and whether there are dead service or cast iron water service lines. The, this project is being done because the majority of the existing water lines are cast iron pipes. Do you replace the water service line up to my house? We replace the city-owned service line to the property line. We also replace the water meter and meter box and will repair impacted areas on your property. We do not replace the water line from the water meter to your home or business. The service line from the water meter to your home or business is considered private plumbing and in the event of a leak, repairs need to be done by a licensed plumber 
at the homeowner expense. Will you need access to our property? This construction is in the street. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. A new sewer clean outs will be installed at the property line. The sewer clean out provides a cruise easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. What part of the sewer line are customers responsible for? The city side of the line starts at the main in the street and goes to the customer sewer clean out. The customer side of the service line goes from the sewer clean out to the house and includes all plumbing inside the house. Will our water be turned off? Water would be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line and when the service is transferred from the temporary to the new line. These switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line is based on an, up, an average of the previous month's usage. If you see water running down the street, don't turn it off. Before we can connect your services to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow from flushing the line would be continuous until the inspector gets the samples for that day. You would be connected to the new water main after two consecutive samples past the bacteriological test. When it is time to sample the water flowing through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Don't move the cones, don't park over the cones, and don't turn off the water valve. Are we getting a new curb, gutter, and sidewalks? Existing curb gutter and driveways would be replaced once the water and sanitary sewer lanes are placed are in place and the service lines are connected to the new lanes. The city will only replace the part of the driveway that is in the city right of way, which we refer to as the apron or driveway approach. The city does not replace the driveway from the street to your garage. Sidewalks are not included in this improvement project. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction commences. Damage resulting from the contractor's activity during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the water and sewer construction affect my irrigation? The contractor has to tap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor would ask property owners to turn on the irrigation systems so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor would replace capped or damaged irrigation systems. Are there restrictions on when we can water our lawns? Yes, requirements include no watering by irrigation systems or sprinklers due between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Watering by handheld hose, drip irrigation, uh, or soaker hose is allowed at any time. Once a week, irrigation system or sprinkler schedule with assigned days for all water customers. The schedule is on Monday, no watering allowed, 
on Tuesday and Friday, non-residential sites such as apartments, businesses, parks, and common areas. On Wednesday and Saturday, residential addresses ending with even numbers. On Thursday and Sunday, residential addresses ending with odd numbers. Will there be lane closure during construction? There will be lane closures when the contractor is installing the water and sewer lines. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed or your scheduled trash collection day on your scheduled con trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling parts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Timeline. Construction will start at the end of April 2022. The projected end date of construction is the winter of 2023, which is from December 2022 to February 2023. The end date will be updated on the projects page on the set of website the link below. How would we know construction is starting? Keep an eye on your front door for a door handle from the city of Fort Worth. You will receive two door handles. The first one will read, the first one would say construction starts in seven days. The second door hanger says construction start tomorrow. The inspector will include his or her business card and contact information on the door handle. Where can I get more information? Progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website, the link below. You can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and enter the project number 102785 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. Contact information. Myself, Dina Johnson, I'm the project manager. My telephone number is 817-392-7866. My email address is dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. Inspector is Roderick Wallace. Telephone number 817-350-3321. Roderick.wallace at fortworthtexas.gov. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, water main breaks or sewer back backups 24 hours a day, you can call 817-392-4477 and select option one. For non-emergency, water call center from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, the telephone number 817-392-4477. Closed city holidays. Download the My FW app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. With that, thank you for listening. I end up my presentation. Okay, do we have any questions? For Dina. Okay. Um, I was just talking to uh, Sandy. She's the district director for Mayor Pro Tem Bivens. We will have this um, PowerPoint turned into a YouTube video, and that will be posted to the project page. We'll also have written summary FAQs in both English and Spanish on the project page. They should be posted by late Monday, early Tuesday. So I'm going to forward that to um, Sandy once we get that done. And thank you, everybody, for attending.